Hello, we are going to show you some wireless optics proof of concept. One visible light communication known as VLC, one using infrared communications known as IRC. First, we will present an example of how this technology works. Then we will show you some world records for visible light on infrared communications. Here you can see a diagram of the system that demonstrates wireless communications by the aid of light. This technology is commonly referred to as visible light communications. In the demonstration there is a server that streams four high-definition videos via a ceiling broadcast area and also a desk lamp. The net data rate is 100 megabits per second. Notice that the video streaming is but one example for which this technology can be used. Another appealing application would be a general information broadcast to, for instance, household appliances. So now let us look at the actual demonstration. Good. So this is how the diagram looks in real. We are here at the France Telecom premises in Rennes and this is a special showroom where new technology is shown demonstrated to people visiting and wanting to get a feel of how technology that you only have seen on the PowerPoint slide looks and feels in reality. So the server I was talking about, the video server is not here, it's in a room next behind me. But so what you can see are on the other hand the broadcast lamps. So we replaced 16 lamps in the ceiling of the showroom with our own transmitters, they are high power LEDs that can take the current coming from the video server and the fast information that is encrypted on them is then translated into a very fast uh, changing light stream. You can't see that with your naked eye and this is the very point of the technology but a fast detector can. And we have a photo diet here in front of me in the table. And that one takes the light, collects it, and translates it into a current that is um, a copy of the changes in the light stream. We take that and there's information in there, we demodulate it, we separate it into four data streams. And these data streams turn out to be video streams as promised. So each of them, as a 20 megabit high definition video stream and that I'm not just like pulling your leg and just put the videos from behind in there. It's demonstrated by the fact that if it this really is a light communication technology, if there is no light there should be no information flow. So if I put my hand over there you see the video stall, I remove my hand and indeed the videos are back. Also is this just like one lamp broadcasting? No, I said it's a broadcasting area. So if I, for example, take the receiver over here, when it's stationary again and has synchronized, you see that this is uh, the very same data stream again. So each of these lamps here and all of them together broadcast the same data streams. The last question that I wanted to answer is, do I need to make such a big, 
change to my living room. I mean, 16 lamps, that's quite intrusive. The answer is no, of course not. If you have one of these kind of lamps and you have the receiver, this also works. And to demonstrate that, we have put up here a um, desktop with a desktop lamp. And that one gets the same data stream. So if I put now again the receiver under this lamp, stay there, then you see that after an interruption, the video stream is back. Uh, so this technology has both the capability of uh, broadcasting in a quite large area of over 10 square meters, or you can also just illuminate and concentrate the information in a very small area. Okay. So the question is then, is this the only kind of uh, use you could think of when it comes to this technology? And the answer is, of course, not. It's a rhetorical question. But I don't want to bore you with like millions of applications where you could uh, use this very interesting technology. I just present one to give you a little feel for it. So let's take the same situation again. I have an area where I can broadcast some information. And if it's not a video stream, what would it be? Well, imagine yourself going to a fair and you come to your favorite vendor. And you think like, well, this is a really nice technology and I want to download all the information they have about it, maybe even like some nice app for my smartphone. So how do I do that? Well, usually you would go log on to the um, internet, they have Wi-Fi here, and then you try to find the address and download it. But it could be done much more directly and more directed. Because the problem is if, one, let us assume 10,000 people are doing this at the same time, there's just like not enough bandwidth in Wi-Fi to do this. What we could do is we put the information in the light. So this is the booth and there is the information. It's coming down again, like the video streams, and it's repeated over and over again. So I don't have to know exactly when it comes. I just flip around my smartphone the camera is looking up there. It follows this very fast variation again. I download the information. It gives me maybe an acoustic signal when it's done a peep. Then I can turn it around, look if I downloaded the right stuff. And then I can leave and go maybe to the competitor's booth and do the very same thing. And since this information is concentrated in this area, I don't have the problem of so many people wanting to download different information. It's very concentrated and doesn't intrude on others' territory. Here, you can see a picture of the infrared wireless communications demonstration. In the demonstration, there is a base station and there are two terminals. Together, these provide wireless communication for video conferencing and video streaming. The base station is connected to IRC device one. This has a webcam and a video screen to send and receive video via the infrared link to the base station. The base station is connected to another video conferencing terminal in the technical room. This terminal could be anywhere in the world. At the same time, the base station sends a high definition 3D video to IRC device 2, and this displays it on the 3D screen. Now, let's look at the actual demonstration. So here we are in the France Telecom showroom. On the wall here, you can see an infrared base station. And this communicates using infrared light to the terminal you can see here. The terminal is connected to a video conferencing setup. So in the picture you can see Ross. Now Ross is only a few rooms away, but of course he could be anywhere in the world. And I'm communicating with Ross using the webcam that you can see just there. So there's information traveling from the base station to the terminal, and those are the pictures of Ross and information traveling from the terminal to the base station and they're the pictures of me. So that's the infrared video conferencing setup. So I've just shown you video conferencing using infrared light. What I'm showing here is video streaming. So there's another terminal here which is connected to a 3D TV just here and the base station you saw earlier is also sending a 3D video down to this terminal and the TV is displaying it. 
Now you need special glasses to see the 3D video, so I'm just going to put these on. And there is quite a good 3D picture from the TV. So what you've seen is simultaneous video streaming, showing a 3D picture, and video conferencing, both using infrared light. So today we've showed you infrared wireless communications. At the moment you can see the terminals are quite bulky and that's because they're prototypes. The next stage of this work is to try and make them smaller and in the end we're targeting something that could fit onto your phone as the ultimate end to the development work that we intend to do. So we've shown you some proof of concept wireless optic prototype system. You can find a lot more information on the following website www.ict-omega.eu